Let me tell you why I quit my job at Microsoft and walked away from $250,000 right at the beginning of a recession. A month ago, I, I was pretty down. I had just broken up with my girlfriend. I was stuck in a job I was pretty burned out from. All of my friends had just packed up and left to another city. This all changed in three weeks. This story is kind of crazy and stick around to the end because it probably doesn't play out the way you think. I grew up here and here. One major thing these places have in common is that they are not America. But I do work in the United States now on a visa. Wait, not that kind of visa, this kind of visa. I started working at Microsoft in 2019. Around the time this one baddie boy from Wuhan tried to take on the entire world. And in fairness, he did a pretty good job. Or she. I've always wanted to build a startup, but since I'm on a visa, I can't do any work outside of Microsoft or I could get deported. Don't tell anyone about this YouTube channel. Luckily, the boy Bill Gates is actually pretty dope. He started the process of getting me a green card when I started on my first day at Microsoft. If you don't know, a green card is just permanent residency in the United States. Okay, to thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers, the most upvoted comment on this video will be sent a pair of AirPods Pro. All right, back to the video. My goal was to get a green card, chill for a few years, and then maybe build a startup or something. The goal was pretty loose, kind of like your mom. Okay, okay, okay. Let's pause here. First, you need to know about this company called Y Combinator if you don't already. Y Combinator is a startup accelerator that takes companies, many just an idea, and it gives them access to the best entrepreneurs to help them build it, and then also gives them half a million dollars. They also pair you up with some of the best entrepreneurs in the world that have built billion dollar companies, and they give you access to them. You can just text them literally anytime. YC, that's what the cool kids call it, is responsible for building some of the biggest companies in the world, including Airbnb, Coinbase, Dropbox, Instagram, cart, DoorDash, tons of unicorns. All you need to do is fill out an application and then you do one or two 10 minute long interviews. It sounds unreal, right? Like it sounds too good to be true, but it is, it's true. This is actually how it works. So I finally got my green card in the mail. The green card means I can do whatever I want. I'm not tied to one company, but why would anyone leave? My total compensation for Microsoft was expected to be about 250 grand in 2023. The job was really chill. The work-life balance is incredible there. I liked all my team members. If you'd asked me five years ago, this would have been my dream job. Every day since I started, I feel like I've been slowing down more and more. I feel like I'm getting stuck in the mud and I really just want to take risks and move quickly. And that's not the place for a big company. Or is it? Consider when a company is small, it needs to take big risks to survive. But once it's big, a big risk could sink the company. In the past, the idea of being scared to take big risks has sunk entire industries. Cough, cough, print media. Oh, I was supposed to actually do the cough. But maybe tech companies are different. Consider Twitter. I haven't used Twitter in years, but Elon Musk bought it by accident, as you do. He fired like 75% of the staff. You're fired, get out of here. And he's basically revamping the entire thing. Now, I don't know how this is gonna play out, but I can tell you that I've used Twitter more in the last month than I have in the last five years combined. In this case though, I think Microsoft is pretty happy where they are. They mostly cater to enterprises and enterprises don't like big changes. Microsoft has diverse income streams, so they're probably okay. As I thought about leaving though, one thought wouldn't leave my mind. Nothing I've ever built as a side project has ever been used by anybody. Nobody's ever paid me for anything. The most successful thing I've ever done outside of work is this YouTube channel and this isn't a startup. I was essentially walking away from $250,000 to make zero. But I think the reason that none of those things ever worked is because of the safety net. The Microsoft salary comes in every two weeks, it keeps me comfortable, but also complacent. So right after my green card came in, I walked upstairs, I called my boss and I put in my two week notice. Yeah, thanks so much. I, I really appreciate like all the work at, at Microsoft and the team. I think it's a great team. I think you're a great manager and I, I really love yeah. working here, but like, yeah, yeah. like you know, this is just the opportunity for me, so. It's super sad, but. I don't know, I'm happy for you. My theory is I have to jump in the deep end and then I'll sink or I'll swim. The only thing I had going for me is I can kind of code and I have a 4.91 rating on Uber. So that's pretty sweet. Now let's get back to Y Combinator. Now everyone says that to get into Y Combinator, the most prestigious accelerator in the world, you need to have a product that's growing 10% every week. That means if you have 100,000 users, then within seven days, you have to get another 10,000. Well, shit, I have zero. <laughs> I don't even have a product. So that is kind of a lie. Y Combinator actually funds companies with just an idea. Now, $500,000 for an idea, it has to be a pretty good idea, right? Again, no. When it comes to funding a company this early, the investors really only care about the team. A good team with a bad idea will find a good idea. A bad team with a good idea will fail to execute. And a bad team with a bad idea will somehow make millions. My co-founder Parth is a best-selling tech author, as well as an ex-product manager at Facebook.
Facebook. So together, we thought we made a pretty good team. Now, you're probably wondering what we're building, which leads me to today's sponsor, Cohere. Now listen up, because if you want to build a new project for your resume, I highly recommend using these guys. We're building an easy way for creators to make gamified video courses on mobile. Think Duolingo meets TikTok, but for any course creator. We want to make it dead simple for any course creator to make a living making their own video course, and even house it on their own app and website. So where does Cohere come into play? We're utilizing the power of AI to help them make this content and then help them categorize, process, and respond to all of the messages they get, essentially helping them be a one-to-one -one coach with every single student. Now I keep talking about how AI is the future on this channel and Cohere makes it super simple to integrate some of the world's most powerful language models that can tackle any text-based task with just a simple API call. Now, Cohere has offered us a super generous free tier, meaning you don't have to pay at all until you bring your app to production. And when I say we, I mean you and I. We both get this deal. I'll add a link in the description. If you're looking to build a new side project, I highly recommend using these guys. I wouldn't recommend them if I wasn't using them myself. When we wrote the Y Combinator application, we had written zero lines of code. The great thing about the Y Combinator application is it forces you to understand your own business. We actually slightly pivoted when we were just filling out the application. So we hadn't heard anything all our friends were kind of like maybe you didn't get in two weeks later all of a sudden YC reached out they said they wanted to interview us I woke up this morning to an email from Y Combinator saying they want to interview us and I'm just like completely buzzing I, I ran down to the gym and I worked out just to try to get out all of my excitement and I'm still like almost shaking I took the day off from Microsoft and we studied 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 I've gotten it three times now dude and this would be hilarious. You can only get it if I'm not filming it. It'd be hilarious to show the employees. Ah! Hey! <laughs> Oh fuck, it's not coming off. Now, when you interview at Microsoft, they do four one hour long interviews. And when you interview at Y Combinator, they do one or two 10 minute long interviews. It's literally only 10 minutes. How can someone decide to give you half a million dollars in 10 minutes? Well, it's a rapid fire interview. They ask questions and your responses have to be concise, meaningful, and only one or two sentences long, or else they cut you off and get onto the next question. It's pretty brutal. At least that's what everybody said. We interviewed with Gustav, the guy that helped rapidly grow Airbnb. And honestly, it was just a pretty nice conversation. It wasn't cutthroat at all and he never cut us off. We felt like we killed it. Interview went really well. Until about 30 minutes later, when we received an email that said they wanted to re-interview us with new interviewers in 20 minutes. Now, I was at the grocery store. I wasn't checking my phone and neither was my co-founder. We missed the second interview. This, this, this isn't a joke. Like literally, we just missed the second interview. I emailed them apologizing and asked if we could reschedule and then later that night they said okay we'll res reschedule for another 12 hours from now phew not dead yet so rinse and repeat i took the day off and study 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 this time we got jared friedman cto and co-founder of a company called scribd a yc company that's basically the netflix for books and any kind of pdf you probably have accidentally landed on this website while trying to find a previous exam to study from this time we click the link join 10 minutes early and we're waiting 10 minutes pass nobody joins another 10 minutes pass nobody joins so we check our email and we have them from Jared saying, are you joining? Fuck, we were on the wrong Zoom meeting. We joined the one we missed from the day before. We raced over to the other interview and we tried our best, but we were just thrown off. They seemed really skeptical of our idea and the interview just went terribly. You're supposed to hear back by around 6 p.m. that night. It was Friday night, we went out to dinner expecting to get a terrible email any minute. Four hours pass, nothing comes in. Six hours pass, nothing comes in. Saturday comes and goes nothing comes in. What is going on? We have never heard of somebody not getting an accepted or rejected email by the end of the day. Now it's been two days. Jared emailed us Sunday night and said he wanted to re-interview us on Monday. Again? Three interviews has never happened in the history of YC. Okay, I don't know that for sure, but I assume it's true. Rinse, repeat, skip, study, blah. This time we joined the right Zoom call. We're on our best behavior. Jared joins and says, All right, guys. I will cut to the chase. I have good news for you too. We would like to invite you guys to join the Winter 20 for Gosh. That's awesome. Oh, great. Yeah, thank you. That's a, that's a really cool thing. Wow, what an experience. We got hit to YC. It was such a roller coaster. Within those three weeks, I got my green card. I got into the best startup accelerator in the world. And at the same time, this channel hit 100,000 subscribers. By the way, I can't thank you guys enough for that. We went from 3,000 to 123,000 subscribers in like four months. So we packed up. We drove 800 miles through mountains snow and rain in a 20-foot U-Haul, which honestly almost killed me multiple times. And now I live in San Francisco.
AI is developing so quickly that I was doing so much research just to stay on top of it. I decided to make a newsletter with daily updates of all the most important information. It's completely free. It'll probably be paid in, in a few months, but for right now, it's 100% free as long as you go to the description, find the link and sign up straight away. It'll be free for life.